of um, mobility from the ground up, we're now gonna work the front of our thigh, so our anterior thigh, um, and also our adductors, kind of a little combo kit on the front here. So you're gonna need either a roller or a softball, or you can do, can do both, um, but I'm gonna show you kind of the same thing on either one. So we're gonna start just rolling the front of our thighs, right? So you're gonna have the softball, or the, the roller, I'll show you in a second. You're gonna lay on your, on your uh, elbows, basically. Keep your abs tight, I don't want you to just hang in. You're gonna keep your abs on a bit. And from here, you're just gonna kinda roll side to side, across your, your quad. You're gonna come all the way from that kind of <clears throat> inside of the, the quad, across to the outside of the quad. And you're gonna work your way all the way down your thigh. When you reach a spot that might be a little bit spicy, you're going to try to spend some time on that and try to just let gravity kind of pull you into that. Put as much pressure on it as you can handle. You from here on that spot can just bend your, your leg up, your heel towards your butt, and then straighten back out. And just floss through that a couple times. And you're going to do that all the way down. Um, one spot where I notice it a lot is right um, at the top of the knee, so where the quad kind of comes together, there's like a little hole right here, there's a bunch of attachments right there. You're gonna, you're gonna get in those tendons, you're gonna do that flossing from there. So with the ball here, again, you're gonna just bend your knee up and extend back out. And you're gonna do that on both legs. Next we're gonna work on our adductors, which is the inside of our thigh. So I'm gonna have you guys again lay in pretty much the same position you were for your quad. You can use the softball or the roller on this, I will show you both. But from here, you're gonna lay on your stomach, but you're gonna bring your leg kind of out at a 90 degree angle from your hip with a bent knee. And you're gonna start with that, that softball, um, just kind of going up and down from the, the inside of the knee all the way up to the inside of the, the groin. You're going way up high. From here, as you're going up and down, if you find a hot spot or just to get some cross fiber work, you're gonna just lift your foot up and rotate your femur or your, rotate your leg in. You're going to do that all the way up and down that leg. So that's with the softball. The same thing with the roller. You're going to have your leg up on top and you're going to roll up and down. And again, when you find those hot spots or to get some cross fiber work, you're going to just pick your foot up and rotate around. All right, guys, the final thing for our anterior thigh is going to be what's called couch stretch. Um, you're going to need to have a wall. Um, I would recommend putting something soft or be on carpet. You also can use your couch. So envision this being your couch. Here's the back of your couch and here's the seat of your couch. You can use your, that's why it's called the couch stretch. You can use that there. So from here <clears throat> on one knee or if I'm on, sitting on my couch, I'll be standing and bringing that leg up. But um, from here, you're gonna put your shin all the way flat against the wall or the back of your couch. From here in this position, I want you to squeeze your butt and tighten your abs and you're gonna bring that foot, if you can, you're gonna bring that foot up in front of you, okay? If you can't, absolutely feel free leaving it down. But from here, the goal, without arching your back, is to bring your body up, keeping that rib cage down and keep keeping your glutes on. You're kind of pushing the hip forward. You're gonna feel a big stretch all throughout that thigh. From the side, <clears throat> it looks like this. You're gonna have that knee on, again, Bring your foot up if you want, glutes on tight, and push forward. You do not have to come up this high. In fact, if you have more, more range of motion than I do on tight, you can get to where that body is all the way up without arching your back. But if it's too much, then you just stay with that foot or that knee down and try to gain some range of motion from there. And the last one, guys, is in the same position as our couch stretch. Um, it still is a couch stretch, we're just going to change your body position a little bit. So instead of coming up high, you're going to try to push your body forward. So by that, I mean shin on the wall, knee on the floor, bring that leg up if you can, if not you stay on your knee, and instead of coming up, I'm going to just squeeze my butt and push my hips towards the floor. So I'm really opening up that entire hip. You're going to feel it higher in your hip on this. So from the side, it's going to look like this. Instead of coming up, you're just going to push your hips forward. Feel a huge stretch in that 